closer on the next quest, the uh, was it the crisis one? Spirit disaster. Okay, there we go. So uh, this is the second to last quest, I believe. So I guess we'll have like two side, and apparently we get to be the giant lion. So I must say I'm glad to see you. I have something to tell you. Uh, you brought to me seems to be a clue. One of the tribesmen saw someone hit running into a black panther. Kusai has a grave look on his face. I'm sure you're working hard to resolve the situation, but I can't just sit back and let this continue. You have ended this conversation. Okay. What do we gotta do next? Talk to Shmala? Yep, talk to Shmala. Called it. I didn't even look at the wiki or anything. You guessed that. I just totally guessed. Of course, Shmala's like the only one besides Kusai's in this. So that one time I talked to Wabaka and then Ruway. Shmala trembles with fear, really. If something goes wrong, tonight could be the end. Her eyes are filled with an uncharacteristic foreboding. Something... Fr uh... Oh yeah, sorry. I thought I wasn't recording for a second. Something terrible is coming this way, but I must go no matter what. She looks at you with sad eyes. Don't follow me. I mean it. She leaves you behind. Oh, we're gonna follow you. We're gonna help. We've... And we'll fight alongside her. Past times. You can do it now. Whatever. Plus, whoa. You obtain the immense power of the giant lion. From the giant lion spirit, you were. Oh, so that was a quest item. Got it. Use the power of the lion to save Shamala from danger. And Shamala's over there, uncrush on the ground. Wow, we are a giant lion. What do we got? We got smack, we got lion roar, and defense. Okay, cool. So I think. Okay, so this one charges forward, it seems. Uh, does it have a cooldown? Doesn't have a cooldown. We only have a four here. So let's kill these betting moral spawn. Yes, alright. Oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, so we're gonna do this. Charge through the middle of them. Alright. Looks like we got a lot of those guys. Uh, the multi aggro. Oh, Shamala getting hit? No, that's not good. That's not good. Let's protect Shamala. She can get hit. And that was lag. I'm guessing it's lag. Yep, okay, there those guys go. Can I not move now? Oh, that's not good. Alright, so I guess we'll just strafe Shamala. If we can. The... This is definitely interesting, being the giant lion. It's very hard to fight. I fought it a couple times, and I didn't do too well. So as long as we crisscross over Shamala, that's at least my main plan right here. We can keep her from getting too much damage. The line doesn't seem to take stun, but we're getting hit pretty well. Oh wow, those guys are wailing on me. Okay, and this lag is kind of annoying because it's. Uh, I've heard some people have some trouble with this mission, but it uh, on the forums and whatnot. But it seems that I I can't move. Okay, I can use both side to move though. That's good. It doesn't have smash or anything, so. Just nice crits on this line. Do I have any potions or anything? Nope, can't even open my inventory. Wow, they spawn aggro to me. That is, that's not fun. That's not that's not legit. So, did something just explode? I think something just exploded. So I'm gonna use the hotkeys to load that skill because that's faster. I'll just keep clicking up there. Stop them from hitting Shamala. We're only ha we're already half health. I can see why this mission is slightly difficult. Gotta stop them from. Okay, I don't know what's exploding. Are you is there exploding guys there? Wait, Hobgoblin. Oh, head Hobgoblin. Is he the one exploding? Cause all that goblin's on a final hit. And there's a fancy boss Hobgoblin of some sort. Uh, there's a slight delay on when you load the skill and actually use the skill, so just be aware of that. Because the line, like, charges up or something like that. Okay, we should have hit that guy. Yeah, it's flat because the guys aren't moving. That's probably why he was hitting Shaman so hard he didn't final hit. He's not teleporting, so he obviously doesn't have very good, uh, rank final hit. And it says an RP mission. At least, actually, it's not technically. I guess it is an RP mission, but it says we gain the power of transformation. But 
come on. Get the archer. I'm probably should have just tried to hit him directly instead of going for splash damage. Come on, little archer. Yeah, okay, that was the head hollow. Oh, okay, I was hoping. Oh, armored bearers. Okay. So we're half health, and it looks like we still have some guys to kill. Thankfully, if the group of Ram Shamala, we can get a lot of them. So I'm going to go for maximum... Shamala has a whole lot more health than we do. So I'm going to go for maximum damage. I'm going to go for maximum enemy carnage. Alright. The armor bears aren't doing anything, so we'll leave them alone, hopefully. Oh, now we didn't leave them alone. It's... Oh, they can roar or something? I'm just spamming the, the, the basically lance charge like a move. Man, we're getting low health. We have no healing whatsoever. No healing magic or anything. Armor bears hitting. For, oh, is there another head goblin there? Yep, he can use final hit. Well, there's, only, there's only supposed to be one head type goblin type person, isn't there? Only one head of anything. We're getting low health. Hopefully, these aren't. This, this is the last wave. We're not. We're not gonna survive much longer. Come on, load the skill. And this lag's not helping us much either. Are those bears dead? Okay, they are dead. So it's just this head goblin that's running us the most trouble. We don't want to have that smash on us. Yes, right into our charge. That guy's almost dead, and that guy's using firebolt. I don't really know what's hitting everybody, but stuff's getting hit. Okay, so if there was a mini show or something, I didn't see it because fraps caused the game to crash when I entered the mini show. So I'm outside core and the quest is complete, so I'm assuming all's okay. I mean, as far as the quest completing goes. Uh, that wasn't over long. I might just try to fit the last quest into um, this episode. Um, okay. So you're getting some lag a bit more in the past few days. Anyway, so now we have Shmala in Crisis, so we need to collect a base herb. Now, uh, herbs, um, if, like, I already, I, I could probably easily get the herbs right now. Uh, herbs you can get a couple different ways. Uh, you could buy them from other players if all else fails. Ask around people probably base herbs, um, or probably have a herb pet. Um, let's see, I have my pet, and so I know we're gonna need mana herbs, I need a base herb, which I don't have on hand, so what I'm gonna do is collect from my herb, or clover pig, and get the herbs, okay, we need a bloody herb, I don't know if that one will count, we just got, I don't know if we just need to have them in our inventory, I actually collect them for the quest, so I just have to find it, because we already have those mana herbs, we need a base herb, and there's a base herb, so that counted for that quest, and the bloody herb counted for that quest, so this should go, I don't have any inventory room. It, it counted. Can I, oh, now I need to feed 20 lions, All right? Well, I'm gonna swap these HP potions for some mana herbs, and then we're good. Alright, so we got those three herbs. Uh, if you don't have an herb figure, can't get it for players or from your homestead if you already have herb patches there. Uh, you can get herbs from dungeons, so like, dungeons like Rabi and Math will have herbs in them, most dungeons will. Uh, Seer, I think, is probably the easiest dungeon that will have herbs in it. Uh, probably Seer Normal, not Seer Beginner. And then I'm going to start flying towards the lions, which are right between these two big rocks here, the one that kind of looks like Africa and this other one. Uh, at any rate, uh, you can, get, you can get, uh, mana herbs fairly easily from Albi Normal. Uh, they usually pop up in the end chest, so that's pretty easy. I think you get bloody bloody herbs from Seer Normal also. And then base herbs you can get from dungeons, uh, usually the easier dungeons, like, uh, I, I, I think Seer might have herbs. Uh, I can't be 100% certain of that. Um, I know Ravi will have herbs occasionally, and Math will probably have herbs occasionally. If you really can't get it from anywhere else. But if you already have um, an herb patch of the herbs with you, then you won't need to get them, and you can buy them from players, like I said. And we're halfway done with this quest, and we need to kill 20 lions. So, uh, lions are over here in, uh, uh, uh Sene Meadow, Meadows, however you want to say that. And we probably, lionesses probably don't count. I'll kill one real quick, see if they work. But, uh, you want the ones with the black mane, those are the lions. Ooh, I can put this back. In case I need it, uh, lions aren't 
too incredibly powerful. That's that's to successfully hunt a lion, and actually it does count for Shaman Crisis. And I think lionesses are a little bit weaker than actual lions. But I'm one hit smashing these guys, but then again I am over 1k, so if you're not 1k, this might be a bit of a more of a fight for you. Uh, lions, I think, are are very similar to wolves. Uh, except for the fact that they have, um, uh, I think they run faster, and, uh, they're awful to me right now, even though I want hit smashing them, so, uh, as far as, like, strategies for fighting them, they're just gonna be, like, most other enemies, they don't have anything really special about them, like I said, they're pretty simple, and, like, wolves, they have smash, counter, and defense, I believe, don't think they have any magic. And they don't, they don't have a horrible amount of life points, so uh, this may take you a while if you're a lower level, but uh, it, it's, it's not impossible or anything like that. Get some lag, shoot me back there. And I believe this is the last quest, so I guess we'll find out after I do this one. Uh, too bad these guys aren't awful, they get Landstar training, but they're, I mean, too bad these guys aren't strong, too bad they are awful. So they have less than 1,600 life points, it seems. Less than 1,500 on the line. This is. I'll I'll look them up on the wiki, see if I can find out anything useful while I'm just killing. Only I have seven more left, which when, I, when you can one hit smash things like this, it's pretty easy. Lion. Lionesses have 900 HP and lions have 1,200 HP. So uh, they do have 20 protection on the lions and lionesses. Uh, they give a uh, thousand experience uh, per lion or so. I'm getting a bit more. I don't know why that is. It, maybe they updated and the wiki has been updated. Uh, or it's just my camping penalty messing with how much I should be getting. Uh, but camping penalty doesn't change the fact that I need to hunt 20 lions. So, I mean, I could go way, walk way over there to kill them, but that kind of be silly. A silly lengthening of time that I don't need. Alright, so this is the last line. And then we will have to do something else. Make a possessed potion with potion making. Alright, uh so we need water. Alright. Oh, line line aggroed me. That line probably is gonna wish it did not do that. Alright, so we need a water, which you can get from... Uh, I'm not going to have to inventory for all this, unless I store these HP potions somewhere else. Alright, so I'm going to go look around for a well, or some water source, uh, around core. Uh, well, actually, I first need a bottle, which you... No, oh, excuse me. Oh, I'll take a faster flying pet. Already zoomed out, so let's go back to core, see if we can find the supplies there. If not, we'll go to Dunburton, and I'll probably uh, annotate or cut this part out of the video if we can't go to core, uh, to make it kind of... Uh, but you need the uh, bloody herb, uh, mana herb, and base herb, and you probably need a potion-making thing, which you can also buy at uh, healer... Actually, not general store. I didn't say general store, but can't, probably can't buy them. You can probably buy them at healer stores, though. I believe the lady person is the healer around these parts. Alright, let's drop by Kusina, which I believe is the healer. We're gonna need a a uh, empty hand at any rate. Shop. For the shop to pop up. Okay, gloves, hat, closed. Oh, no, she's the Chloe Lane. Alright, uh, is it is it Kusai? I, I really don't spend much time around core. Uh, this is probably the most time I've spent around core in a long time. Well, since I did G8 and whatnot. Uh, two, uh, Rurai and two. Okay, there we go. So, a potion decoction kit is probably, you're probably going to need that for potion making. And then we're going to need a general store for the, um, for the bottle. And we're going to need a water source. Uh, there's a cooking oven. Right there. Shop. 
etc. Oh, he sells Shamala stuff too now. That's cool. Oh, he, but he doesn't sell any other stuff. And then there's Void. He could be a general store. He's also the bank, so I kind of doubt he'll be a general store. But you never know with places. Oh, lag. Lag just makes everything more interesting. Uh, shop. He is the Exploration Tool Artifact Collection Book. Bank guy. And the only other NPC I know of is Wabaka. Except for, I guess, uh, Kusai could have been selling more stuff and I just didn't realize it. If not, we'll go to Dunburton. Dunburton's all this stuff we need. Weapon, event, arrowhead. Nothing we need from him. I shall take Kusai and I uh, burnt my chance to double continent warp. Should have just did done that. That would have been easier. Okay, shop. I only have first aid kits. Okay, so I guess I did look subconsciously. I don't think there's any other NPCs around here. Uh, well, there are all the random en random NPCs that walk places. Is this a shop NPC? Uh, behind here. Oh no, it's a resident. All right, so we're gonna constant warp and go to Dunburton because Dunburton does all have all the stuff we need. And if there is some way to do this all around core, then I'll try to get that. But basically, for you need water for the potion, and what you need for that is a jar of water. And so you can buy a jar at most general stores, I believe. So like once you constant warp, the Dunburn over here, Walter should have a jar for us. Shop. Yep, jar right there. Or empty bottle, I guess it's called. So we'll grab that. And then we're going to need one more free inventory space. Because we need to put the water in our hand and go to the well. Let's uh, see here. I guess I'll summon Reptar again. He's a green lizard, so I thought... Reptar suggested to me. I thought it was a, it was a fun name. One more of those. And then let's mix and match. So that we can... Put that in our hand. Oh, no, I don't want to drop that. Okay, there we go. So there's a well right over here in Dunburton. And if you equip the bottle of water, you can do this. Of course, you can get all these supplies before you do the quest, and that'll make it quicker and whatnot. And so now we can do this. I believe you should learn potion making as soon as you equip uh, the potion making concoction kick. Uh, my giant only has rank F, so that should be good. Alright, potion making... Maybe not. Oh, yep, there, it's at the bottom. I just got it, probably. Alright, so, Possess Potion. Uh, so we need one of those. One of those. One of these. And I'll just divide that so I don't waste more of them. I need to. And then we got the Possess Lion Potion. It's 100% success rate, so that's good. Make that. We should claim some inventory. Oh, it goes in our special inventory. That's good. And then we will be back on our way to court. So I can't constant warp presently. However, I still have the wing for this mission for one of my other uh, one of my other characters. So uh, I'm going to use that to get to core. Uh, if not, you can constant warp. Use the mana mana tunnels, and it'll be good. So we made the potion caution. I'm guessing we're talking to Kusai now. Oh, give it to give it to Shamal. Where's Shamal? Well, it's not there, where she usually normally is. Is she up here by Kusai? She's not. Alrighty then. Uh, like this is the first time doing this. Well, actually, I don't think I actually said that. So, Shmall is normally here. Where would she be if she was sick? That's a good question. Not up there by Kusai, or Kusina. Pi, where Shmala might be. Oh, right there. The quest beacon council. So that's that's where we ended up. I probably would have got this more if the mini sh if it wouldn't have kicked me out of the mini show. But the quest beacon's all the way over here, and Shmala's dying. So I guess I didn't see her last time. Uh, so I'll give this to. Guess I talk to her, and complete the crisis quest. Sweetness. So complete that. And we got the Shamala title, a bunch of money, AP potion, that's good. 200,000 XP, we want 10,000 gold, oh 10,000 gold, that's pretty nice. 30 AP potion, that's sweet. 
And I believe we all should have got the Shamala prefix tile since we did it during the events. Now, if you are doing this after the Shamala opening event thingy, then you probably don't have that. But I do. It's 10 HP, I mean 10 HP, 10 stamina, but I much rather have the strength that my Q title gives me. So I'm not going to use it, but uh, it just looks like Shamala, kind of like Hugh is right here. It's just Shamala, and it looks like that. So, uh, that is the Shamala quest. Thank you for watching, and uh, this video, uh, I recorded a higher resolution, hopefully. I think I did. So, that should at least be enjoyable. So, thank you for watching. That is the Shamala quest. Uh, the line one can be a bit tricky, I guess. Uh, as long as, if you spam that charging move, it looks like that can work. I'm not sure about the roar move. But in all the advice and tips I've been seeing about that mission, uh, it hasn't been suggested. So, uh, there you go with that. And those herbs, uh, if you have before the mission, you don't have to actually gather them. During the mission, you just have to have them. So you can get them from players or your homestead or an herb pet if you happen to have one. Which, they're very nice to have one, so that's why I have one. But not everyone will have one, so... There you go. At any rate, thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other comments or questions about the quest line, feel free to put them in, and I will try to answer them. And if you have any suggestions for more uh, Mabinani videos, please put those in the comments as well. Thank you for watching, and have fun playing Mabinani.